The snap, play action fake. Ricks, buys some time, looks, 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 throws downfield. He's got a receiver there. Caught! Lead you on! Touchdown, Florida State! Javon Walker! The Bobby Bowden Show is brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes, or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. By Coca-Cola, the preferred soft drink of the Florida State Seminoles. Coca-Cola. Enjoy. By Tico. Save energy and save money with conservation programs from Tico People's Gas. By the Florida State MasterCard, the card that supports Florida State University. By Capital Eurocards. Discover the difference at Capital Eurocards. By Alltel, the power to simplify. By Discount Auto Parts, a proud sponsor of the Florida State Seminoles. And by the Sunshine Network, first in Florida sports. Hello and welcome to the Bobby Bowden Show. The news is great in the Seminole Nation. Florida State beats Georgia Tech. And Coach, we finished 7-4, and four, more importantly 6-2 and two in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, it was uh, uh, kind of a different year than what we've had. But uh, when you get down to the end of the year, Gene, a win means a lot. I mean, you know, to lose this ball game, you'd be going to the Gator Bowl with a 6-5, and that had been kind of embarrassing. We had to win it, and our kids won it. And Coach, uh, when you're playing at home, you're expected to win your home football games, and we had stubbed our toe twice this year, and we came back with a vengeance and uh, got behind in this ball game. But we still showed the perseverance and the stick to itness to come the, back and win. The thing that threw the season out of whack was North Carolina State. You know, I mean, you know, you, you know, Florida can probably beat you in, in Miami, uh, or should, and then then you know you're going to probably get upset somewhere along the line. But to lose at NC State at homecoming—that's just not supposed to happen. But you have to congratulate Chuck. That's that's what happens when one of your assistant coaches go somewhere else he knows everything you do you know and uh and uh, we, we next year we'll be a little bit better prepared coach florida state georgia tech you said when we joined the acc this is going to be the rivalry in this conference because of the close proximity of atlanta and tallahassee and by golly it looked like a team of rivals well it's so easy for them to get down here to see games and so easy for us to get to atlanta to see games it makes a natural rival now again until they beat us it's not going to be the rivalry it's will be one of these days you know because uh, until somebody beats you, don't, it just don't become a rival as far as they're concerned. Now, to us, it is. Knowles make it 10 in a row with the Yellow Jackets. We have highlights of a very good college football game. Burt Reynolds along with a great moment in Florida State football. We think you'll like the show. Stay with us. minutes with Altel's Total Freedom Plan. Nationwide calling with no roaming or long distance charges. Or share these minutes with a family freedom plan for $14.95 a month. Sign up now and get two free phones. Altel, are you connected?
thousands of parts, great prices. Discount Auto Parts. This week, Valvoline Motor Oil is priced at just $1.19 a quart. Discount Auto Parts. Oh, First time the Knowles have played a December game since 1990. Uh, we played Florida down, uh, we beat them uh, back in 1990, and uh, we played on December the 1st, Coach, against Georgia Tech. Couldn't ask for a better day for college football senior parents, day. Parents' night, and you saw uh, uh, Willie McRae coming out there with his parents, and you saw Javon Walker coming out there with his parents. And I want those parents to know we have really enjoyed having their sons here. Uh, Dockett made the tackle there behind the line of scrimmage. He and Kendall Pope. And here's, uh, here's your quarterback, oh, yeah. showing his versatility, showing Ritz. his speed, showing his savvy, running for a, a big first down at Florida State. Cool. And here comes number six, uh, running the ball. And uh, look, look, the play, he was really, he really broke some tackles. We felt like we needed to play a big back against a more than a small back, uh, such as yeah. Nick. We we're going to try to use Nick Maddox to throw the ball to and then uh, the big guy to run the ball to. Gerald Hudson, uh, you see, you're going to see an awful lot Gerald, of lettuce and tackles. Gerald Hudson started at middle linebacker for us because Bradley Jennings came up right before the game and couldn't play. Mm. And so that was a shock to all of us. And uh, But Gerald Hudson went in, and, and he'll be the start anywhere next year, and we're very, very pleased with that. There's old uh, 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 Montre Holland out there, number 61 leading. A uh, Marambo, our offensive line, I kind of got on them at the half. I was, I was just disappointed. But they came out the second half and took control of the game. And that's what they're capable of doing. That's what they're going to do next year. That's Chris Hope in there, number 28. Big goal we, line stand. Oh, uh, this was a big goal line. There's old Dockett again, uh, number 45. Set a new school record for tackles behind the line. He sure did. You see him there? He just jumped over the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And then uh, number 10, Sam. Sa Stanford Samuels in there. Yeah, in there. Up there. Then here's not, here. Kendall Polk. Look here. Good defense. There's Jarrell Hudson right in there. Number 90, old Emmanuel. Kevin Emmanuel. And you know, all those kids will be back next year. They had it first and goal. From, watch Kendall Pope again. Coach. Oh, goodness. He won't let him go. He's dogged. He, he, loose he will not let him lose. Looks uh, fast in slow motion. Mike Bulaware, they'll be back next year, only a sophomore. And, of course, they, they kick a field goal. But, you know, that, that was a very important keeping them from scoring a touchdown. It was very important. Texas are well coached one. football team. Yeah, they, are well, they are well coached team. They, don't, they won't beat themselves. Here's old uh, A. Truce, won it? Yeah, a. a. Truce Bell man. catching this a little the longest corner route. Catch of his career, right? Cut? No, is it really? I did not yards. even realize that. Longest catch. But that was a spark that got our team watching. That was a spark that got us going. Look at the quarterback. Put it right on the button. Rick really, Chris Ricks really threw some beautiful passes this week. Good yard. I'll show you one later on in the game where he threads a needle. Uh, uh -oh. What just run here? Pocket. Yeah. Watch. What just run here? He, that now, way to run. he, he outrushed Charlie Ward in this ball. Yeah, he's, he, he's got more rushing, yards, yards more rushing yards than Charlie had when Charlie won the high school. Isn't that yeah. something? And he, and he was ACC. Uh, Look at that pass there. The tight end comes to, to Carver Donaldson. His mother and dad were there from, from Louisiana, right? His, and his little uh, Lake uh, Florida. brother, I believe, was there also. Okay. But here's a great oh. throw in at a Sam. PK. Who is that? P.K. Sam, second Sam. career touchdown catch. Look at the way he's throwing. Well, yeah, he's, he's from up around Atlanta. Yeah, Buford, Georgia. Buford, Georgia, yeah. Yes, his mom, of course, his mom and dad there uh, uh, were there. Seems but, like we got to get behind before we uh, get fired up. Well, coach. yeah, we'll, it, we it remind, me, it remind me of the Maryland game. Remember how yeah. Maryland had yeah. control of the game for a quarter and a half? Then our team just uh, caught fire. Well, and uh, One big play later, though, they're knocking on our yeah, door. Yeah, here they are again, yeah. and they, they, they score there, and now they Kids take out. Uh, yeah, that's Joe Burns, yeah. Joe from Thomasville, and boy, I wish we had him at Florida State. But here's another catch in there. Is that, that's not easy. Yeah, oh, that's uh, Nick Maddox, that. Nick Maddox. Like I say, we were throwing a lot to Nick. They make a great combination. There's old Ray Willis there, a freshman tackle, who had to take the place of Brett, uh, uh, Brett Williams. Brett was Williams, ACC first team tackle. Yeah, we had him out for the ball game. Oh, and here's job. a nice punt where we Chance found him back to about 55 there is Eric Moore, who's going to be one heck of a football mm -hmm. player. I tell you, Kevin, uh, oh, Kevin Emanuel, number 90 there, played real well. Doc had had a big day. Uh, uh, and, of course, I can't say enough about Jarrell Hudson, who only found out right before the game he was going to start. And he led our team in tackles, yeah. he and Pope. Jarrell Hudson from uh, Miami. He had a dozen tackles. That was the team leader. And uh, Kendall Polk with 10 yeah. at the end of the game. But Darnell Dock had six tackles of the game. Coach, five of them behind the he line had of scrimmage. five behind the line of scrimmage <laughs> tackles. And uh, just really had a super day. Now at halftime, the Knowles are down 10-7. Second half highlights in just a minute or two. But between now and then, we're going to visit with Burt Reynolds and relive a great moment in Florida State football and relive another thrilling FSU Georgia Tech game. Stick around for that.